Uh, General Motors CEO Mary Barra has confirmed that the next generation Chevrolet Bolt EV will hit the streets in 2025 after a tumultuous year for GM's electric vehicle strategy. This announcement marks a crucial step in the company's bid to regain its footing in the EV market. And Barra's announcement at the Automotive Press Association in Detroit was met with enthusiasm from the loyal fan base of the current Bolt. While details about the upcoming EV remain scant, one thing is clear. GM is determined to make a comeback in the rapidly evolving world of electric cars. The timeline for the next generation Bolt aligns with a Reuters report that surfaced last month. The report indicated a $391 million investment for a future electric vehicle at the Fairfax assembly plant in Kansas, which currently manufactures the Cadillac XT4 and Chevrolet Malibu. Sources suggest that this future EV will be none other than the next Chevy Bolt, said to roll off the production line in 2025. One key aspect of the new Bolt is its lithium iron phosphate battery pack, a choice that Barra believes will expedite its entry to the market by at least two years. LFP batteries, while earning less energy than their cobalt and nickel based counterparts, are more cost effective to produce. This move is in line with industry trends as other automakers like Tesla and Ford are also heavily investing in LFP uh, technology. Uh, Barra has emphasized that the next gen Bolt. Uh, will build upon the strengths of the, the current Bolt EUV, incorporating GM's latest software and NACs, and harnessing the power of the Ultium platform. This marks GM's first deployment of LFP technology in the Ultium platform in North America, and it's expected to result in significant cost savings, which may ultimately benefit customers. In Republic, while specific range and pricing details are still under wraps, are assured that the LFP-powered Bolt will offer an enhanced driving, charging, and ownership experience, a promise that echoes the brand's commitment to customer satisfaction. And GM's journey in the EV world hasn't been without its share of challenges. Now, delays in several EV models, production slowdowns, and cuts in EV spending have marred the company's progress. The initial goal of producing 400,000 electric vehicles between 2022 and mid-2024 had to be abandoned. Nevertheless, GM remains resolute in its ambition to reach 1 million EVs in production by the end of 2025. Mary Barra recently acknowledged that GM's Altian-based EV strategy faced hiccups due to manufacturing constraints, which delayed the production of electric pickup trucks and resulted in the temporary idling of assembly plants. The relaunch of the Bolt represents an opportunity for GM to address these issues and reaffirm its commitment to electrification. And since its debut in 2016, the Bolt has been a hit in the U.S. market, primarily due to its affordability, impressive range, and compact design. While it may not boast the same fast charging capabilities as newer EVs, it has carved out a niche for itself in the market. GM is undoubtedly hoping to replicate this success with the next bolt.